Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Monday, June 1st, 2015. I'm saying a specific day, I'm saying a specific date because today for me is a significant date and I invite any of you guys, if you really wanna do what I'm doing and you wanna join me and you wanna like join me a little bit more than just listening to my videos, um, if you wanna join me in doing what I'm doing, which is starting June 1st and dedicating and committing myself to just killing it and being consistent and sticking through it no matter what, June 1st through the end of the year, then you're gonna need to join me. You're gonna need to commit to yourself that you wanna do, and, and it doesn't matter, this isn't about, I'm starting a program and I want all of you to do the same thing. Everybody has different goals, right? Okay, so it's not about specific diet, it's not about a specific program. Really, this is about what is it that you want to achieve? What is it that I want to achieve? What's it going to take to get me there? And what are the things that I want to do now that I've always in some way not done in the past year or so? And for me, my biggest issue that I've shared with you guys and that I'm working on conquering and I have no doubt I will conquer is um, consistency, not getting distracted, not starting and stopping and starting and restarting and getting distracted and going, oh, I should do that. No, I should do that. Oh, I need to add this. I've got to stop everything and start all over. No, I'm going to start what I'm doing, um, incorporate variety, incorporate a massive focus on strength training. I think when I look back over the past year and a half with quite a lot of um, significant injury and time on the bench, if you will, I've shared this with you guys. My tendency has always been, I never have a problem getting my cardio in. I love cardio, never gonna have a problem with that. I love to run, I love to do all of my fun DVDs that I've had at home. I even love, for the most part, you know, the cardio machines at the gym. But the problem is, here's your flex, because you guys are gonna ask me about that. Um, and I'll show you my t-shirt in a minute, um, because it's very cool. My problem has always been that when I get into a rut of whatever kind, maybe it's, I don't feel like going to the gym because I feel fat and I don't like my clothes, or um, I'm not, you know, I'm injured, so I'm just gonna work out at home. A lot of it had to do with just my mental state and being insecure and so kind of hiding out and staying um, at home. And I would get my cardio done because I was doing cardio first thing in the morning, empty, empty stomach, um, hit training. And then I wouldn't get my lifting done. And it would just, I would get to the end of the day and I'd be tired and then I would not do it. And that would be a continual cycle with me. And as much as I love lifting, you guys know, it's not, there's a lot of people that'll go, I hate cardio, I love lifting, or I love, you know, the, the weight side of things. And, you know, they force themselves to do cardio. Honest to God, I love both. You know, I'm kind of torn between two lovers there. But what I have always had a problem with when I get into my little situations or bad habits or whatever is I end up doing cardio and I end up not doing lifting. And with me, I just have a whole different feeling when I'm doing cardio only. You know, for those of you that have, have been doing cardio only for a while, you don't know the difference in how you will feel when you're incorporating regular lifting and, and training hard and challenging your muscles you'll walk around and you can, you're can. you aware of your muscles, you feel it. Furthermore, it it's how you start, you know, feeling and looking, you, you know. You guys always write to me and ask me, because you see my arms mostly, but, you know, I'm also liking how I'm, I'm developing my lower body, and I looked at kind of a before and after of my bum, I'm just gonna say it, from like, I don't know, six weeks ago, and just from, from all the weight training I've been doing, and, and really, you know, doing a lot of squatting, a lot of lower body, body working. I've always had a booty, you guys. I've never had to worry about that. But you can see how much it's lifted. Like, it's lifted and it's tighter and it's rounder as opposed to kind of just... I'll, I'll put that up on my blog sometime. And all my information on the blog is below. But anyway, June 1st to the rest of the year. And see, guys, that's not like a 90-day challenge. It's not like a 30-day thing. It's not any kind of diet or, you know, whatever. I'm just saying, I'm giving it the rest of the year. I've started this treatment and, and I want to be wise and not have expectations of, which is what I've done in the past, I've got to reach my goal by summer, I have to reach this by July 4th, I've got to be here. Like I've got to stop putting specific dates on, on goals in, and here's my reason, 
for me, what would happen is I think it's that perfectionistic thing. I keep thinking, okay, well, if I haven't reached my goals, then I don't want to be social. I don't want to go out with my friends. I don't want to do anything until I've reached my goal. I have to really, that's my challenge. And I know a lot of you guys have written to me and said this. So let's work on this together is let's enjoy our lives along the way. Let's focus on treating ourselves with respect and kindness and guys, I'm the biggest encourager and motivator to other people. I'm going to do it for myself because I have been way too hard on myself and hiding myself and not enjoying life and I'm not going to do it. And that's why I'm saying June 1st to the end of the year, I'm committing myself. I'm committing my, some of you guys are saying you should be committed. I'm committing myself to consistency. My primary focus in my fitness is going to be strength training above all else. That's probably not the way I want to say it, but strength training first, making sure that I get that done. Cardio is second because there's never going to be a problem with me fitting in my cardio. Um, I'll refer to this later, but I was really excited because in addition to all the Kathy Friedrich DVDs I have for strength training, I got this bad boy. Um, so this is going to be, and I really love, this looks awesome. We'll get into the details later, but I had heard a ton of my friends that were doing this and, um, so I bought this. So I've got this, I've got tons of home gym equipment, whatever. Um, but my focus is it, it's all about strength training. Okay. Strength training. I don't have to worry about getting my cardio in, certainly getting my yoga in, especially every week, but head down, focused on the activity, not picking myself apart, not having a deadline for when my waist has to be a certain measurement, when I, when I anticipate that I think the bioidentical hormonal replacement therapy should have worked by now, you know, I'm, I'm taking that off. I'm just dedicating myself to saying, hey, it's seven months, the rest of this year, I'm going to become the best that I can be. I'm going to focus on consistency. I'm going to focus on heavy lifting and not stopping. I'm not going to do this for two or three weeks and then say, oh, well, I'm not where I want to be. So I'm going to give up and reevaluate and start something else. No, this is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to enjoy life along the way. And I hope you guys are with me because this is a, I don't want to say it's a different approach. I mean, it is. I've always had these goals and thought I was doing this, but I wasn't. And so if you're like me and you haven't done this in the past and you wanted to, and you really want to be more goal oriented, you really want to reach your goals and your objectives, and you need that community and you need that accountability and you need that coach, that's going to be me. So if you're interested and you want to join my, so many of you guys have asked me in the past, like if I would coach or if I would train and I'm like, well, wait a minute, I'm not a certified personal trainer, so I can't do it. But you know what? I can be a motivator. I can be a coach. I can be your partner. And so that's something that I'm willing to do. I've had this Facebook group and I've kind of let everybody just be accountable with one another. I'm like, why am I not picking things up a notch and being the leader that people have asked me to be and, and creating accountability for myself, but helping you guys, um, actively and proactively do a lot of the things, put a lot of the changes in place in your life that I'm doing in mine that are helping me. So all I'm going to tell you is it's going to make a huge difference. You guys, I have been so consistent and hardcore in my, in my lifting and in my weight training and, and also my cardio the past two or three weeks. And I can just, I can feel it. I can, I, I was telling Whitney, I'm like, you know, I'll catch myself and I'm not even looking, but I'm like, wow, you know, I can, I can see the cuts in my arms coming back in. I'm just starting. Can you even imagine? I can, I could see the difference. Like I said, when I saw a before and after picture of my bum, I'm like, oh my God, look how much smaller, not smaller in a bad way, but smaller and tighter and higher that is. And I'm just getting started. Like, can you imagine? So I'm focusing on the good. I want you guys to join me. If you want to join my group, I'm going to start everybody out in my Facebook group. So you can add me as a friend on Facebook. The name of my Facebook group is Kelly O Team Fitfluential. So add me. And if, you, if you're having trouble finding it or you're having trouble finding me on Facebook, you shouldn't. Um, just email me, kellyolexa at gmail.com. K-E-L-L-Y-O-L-E-X-A at gmail.com. More information is down below. Lastly, let me just close out with this pretty awesome tank top that I'm wearing, okay? Check this out. Okay, ready? <laughs> I can show you. Do you get it? <laughs> Isn't that cool? Now, I have to tell you, because I actually started to shoot this video prior, and the only thing that's a little confusing about these tanks is 
how they fit. I don't think these are intended to fit um, snugly. I think they're supposed to be looser. So there's kind of, you notice when I was showing you the tank top, it's loose in some areas and not in others. I ordered a small because it said that it was boxy and I think they're meant to be looser or more loose, excuse me. But I can get you a discount. Um, I get these uh, t-shirts, this fun uh, website called lookhuman.com. But if you, if I refer you, of course I have something in it for myself as well. Um, I get a referral, $10 off my next order, but you can get $5 off your order in addition to the discounts that are on the um, site if you email me. So again, email me, put in the subject line, or just you know email me about joining the group and the t-shirts, and I will give you guys a link so that you can get um, some of these fun t-shirts. I kid you not, and I'll wear them in my next videos. I think I ordered like seven, seven t-shirts. They're like 20 or 25 bucks. They're awesome, and they're so fun. Why not reward yourself with some fun tank tops and t-shirts? instead of you know thinking that your reward is, is a cheat meal or whatever. That's another thing that's changed about me. <gasps> it's 11 minutes, I gotta go. I'm trying to keep my videos under 10, but I went a little bit over because I gave you guys a treat today. So I will see you tomorrow and have a great rest of the afternoon, evening, whatever. Email me below, make sure you subscribe to my videos. Follow me everywhere on social media. We'll talk tomorrow.